Trumpet fanfare noises. Yes, you read the video title correctly. I am remaking my old, old uh, Tower Defenders tier list after like an entire, almost a year. Yeah, you can see the tier list right there. I'm just gonna go through them one at a time. You can already start commenting why I'm wrong if you want. I always love constructive critis t criticism. That's a weird word. Okay, first in S tier. Not, like, in order of greatness, but just the order I put them in. Timebender. It's... Oh wait, I should probably go over the new game feature, which is supercharging. Basically, for about the same price, maybe a bit more as the final upgrade, you can upgrade it again infinitely. And it does something like plus 5% speed or something. There are a few that are helpful, but Timebender... Okay, I'll just go over Timebender. Timebender has amazing buffs, it's just super helpful for basically everyone, because it just like speeds up towers, throws enemies back down the path, it's really great. The only downside is that you have to, the only way to get is logging in 30 days in a row, which is pretty tough, but I've done it. Um, next up is Hellock. You get it for either 100,000 dream shards or playing early alpha when he was a boss and beating him which i did so i get hellock he does boatloads of damage like 300,000 at max level i don't know exactly know what his supercharge is but it doesn't matter he's an s tier the only downside is that the new model looks ugly so lysander if you i don't know if that's how you say your name but if you're watching this i know you spent a lot of work on or whoever did spend a lot of work on the new Hellock, but I don't like it. I'm sorry. Okay, Berserker. Berserker is really good. It just does like more damage than any other troop that you can barracks that you can place infinitely. It's personally my early game. It's really only disadvantage is that it can't hit flying, but that's not a big deal. And it supercharges one of the few good ones. Every upgrade is plus 25% extra damage. Next up is Augur. While it has been out healed by Cleric before, Cleric is really a really good healer, but it also does amazing damage and can hit flying. And its burning effect is really nice. And yeah, it's been able to out damage Hellock before in when there's a whole ton of troops. Okay, under certain, certain circumstances. Great cannon. You really want Timebender too, because it's super slow, but it does boatloads of damage. Yeah, when some f something like bigger than, mo when a cannonball bigger than most enemies runs into an enemy, you can imagine it's not a good day for them. Um. It also has a good supercharge. Unfortunately, only King's Hammer gets to be able to be supercharged. And that's plus 25% damage, like Berserker. Oath Sworn, best supercharge in the game. But first, it just does tons of damage. It can hit flying. Um, at max level, it gets this massive AoE that just damnation, like, tears into enemies basically the entire map. And its supercharge is literally having an extra projectile for its basic attack, which only normally has one projectile, so that's basically double damage. I mean, not quite that good, but basically. King was S tier for the reasons I put in the last video, but unfortunately, they nerfed his lethal tempo. It no longer gets extended by hitting enemies, but it's still a good solid tower. John Roblox, I was really wrong about him in my last video. That was probably the worst mistake. Um, he gives really good buffs, and yeah, there's not... He doesn't do damage. That's not his goal, so... Paladin also gives amazing buffs. It's similar to John Roblox, and... But I think it's more. And with free Paladins, I think, the buff can be permanent. And only one player needs to have them. If you want a permanent Inspire from John Roblox, you need a bunch. But Inspire also does other things. 
Oh yeah, John Roblox's biggest buff is range. Probably should have mentioned that. Okay, next up is Magi. It just has powerful AoE. It's an absolute classic. It's time warp isn't that helpful now that we have time bender, but still a really good tower. Rocket battery just goes pew pew, hits a bunch of guys with rockets. Now they do AoE damage, so... Yeah, it's really good. Grove Warden is the best healer and even buffer in the game, but it's, I think, overshadowed by Augur because it doesn't do damage. Tax Collector, I ha don't actually have him, but, uh, um, but apparently he's really good, so I just took fair word for it. Sorry. I don't know. Why should I apply? Okay. Cleric, as mentioned earlier, has amazing, not damage, <laughs> healing. And it also can resurrect units at max level, which is really helpful for King. Hoplites are just an amazing starter tower. They can easily hold the line in hard and even legendary. Star Daughter is, would be S tier if everyone had Star Dars because they just, first they're really good against flying. They do like times 10 damage. So they're really helpful if you have like great cannons and Star Daughters, but they scale based on how many star daughters you have, including other teammates. So if your entire, like, all your friends come and they just have these armies of star daughters, they do ridiculous amounts of damage. Sigor is just a really good starter. It doesn't really hold itself in late game like it says it does, though. Aquamancer would have been S tier, but you can only place free, and they're not as good as, like, Oath Swarns, but they're still really powerful, powerful being able to hit every enemy um footmen are just your standard barracks tower there's not much to say about them mortar is a uh, mortar just a really good low level tower not really good in hard and legendary though knight is kind of just a bit above footmen but in the late game they just get one hit it and it doesn't matter defender you get a lot of defenders they do like no damage, but they're really good against holding off bosses because with enough defenders, you can spawn defenders faster than the boss can kill them. Architect Commando, I, I'll admit I'm kind of biased against this one for all the times that I try to join a quad or something and everyone has them and it's just a big pain. And then there's like these huge arguments about who gets them. Helloc is kind of the same because only one player can place them. And Magi, Magi, I think, is kind of less well-known, so it doesn't happen as bad. But Archantex still do a ton of damage and are all around a good tower. Crossbowmen are just an amazing starter, armor-piercing, not much to say. Goldmine and farm. Farm is not... Okay, I should talk about goldmine first. Goldmine is not... was not as good as I thought it was. It's really helpful when when you don't can't really do much damage like you don't have a really strong early game like berserker but otherwise it's not that helpful farm um i just don't think it's that useful you spend a ton of money it can be supercharged but you need like i think millions for each extra slot so not that effective a strapo is a okay starter especially in like easy mode and it's stunning is helpful but not but maybe not as good as like a berserker that can just stop them completely golems aren't that good archers fair i they're they're really not that good they do low damage they are not even a good starter in easy they're definitely overshadowed by hoplites and others but very your first tower, so that keeps me out of F tier. Mad Alchemist, I've tried it a lot, and I just can't see why why all these like level two hundred have them. I mean, they're just not that good. Siphoner, I really like want to like this tower. It looks so cool, and I love the theming. But it attacks so slow, it does so little damage, it's kind of helpful and endless since it scales with how much damage it's done. But I'm sorry, Siphoner. And I guess it can revive barracks really rarely at like max level, but so can Cleric. Just get Cleric. And that's the tier list. 
You've probably all already commented your thoughts if you're going to, but a like and a subscribe would be much appreciated. Um, if I get like a bazillion subscribers, I'll have the money to purchase Karen if and I can add it. Um, I'm given how well these videos have done, I'd be happy to make another one if I'm proven wrong on something or I'm corrected or whatever. Well, thank you for watching, and I've already said to subscribe.